I'm just gonna say this from the beginning of this video. I am one of those who do not consider this fragrance a redundant buy. The fragrance that I'm talking about comes from the house of Manchela and it's called Intense Cedra Bois. And I also have the original Cedra Bois. So there are some comparisons to be made between these two fragrances. But as I said, I do not consider the Intense variant that came to the market in 2021 a redundant buy. Actually, I consider it a must buy because it's a very good fragrance on its own. It does share a lot of similarities to the original Cedra Bois, but at the same time, it has its own way. Therefore, let's talk about the composition of Intense Cedra Bois because it's very interesting. They changed a couple of things inside this composition. We have in the top notes Sicilian citruses, spices and blackcurrant. In the heart we have leather, white sandalwood, Cambodian wood, patchouli leaf and jasmine. And in the base we get oak musk, white musk, ambergris and vanilla. There are some changes here in the way that, um, let's say, the note pyramid is structured and also the inclusion of agarwood, for example. Also, you get some spices and you also get some Sicilian citruses because uh, in the original Cedra Bois, there was, if I'm not mistaken, uh, only lemon and bergamot. And again, just like in the original, when I've made uh, the review about Cedra Bois, I have to do this uh, mention, I do feel some pineapple inside. This is what I get when I wear these fragrances on my skin. I do get some pineapple although it is not listed in the um, note breakdown. And also, I do have to mention this again, for the 1000th time probably, they are not clones, they are not copies, they are not dupes of Creed Aventus. This wasn't the case. This again, it isn't the case. There are fragrances on their own, and uh, that's how I always treated them, and uh, that's how I will always treat them. Let's talk about Intense Cedra Bois and how it smells. Well, first and foremost, I need to mention the fact that this is a well-made fragrance. It is uh, more uh, voluptuous compared to the original. It doesn't feature any sharp edges like the original actually did, especially due to the citruses. And another thing that I've uh, noticed is the fact that, at least in the opening, the main accords are coming from the citruses in the original variant compared to this one where those citruses are a bit more muted. They are not as um, zesty, they are not as uh, effervescent, just like in the original Cedra Bois. And also, um, I do see Intense Cedra Bois as a um, well-balanced fragrance compared to the original one. It's a bit more rounded and mature at the same time compared to the original Cedra Bois. This doesn't mean that Intense Cedra Bois could not be worn by younger crowds. No, I did not say this. I'm only saying that it gives you the vibe of being a more mature fragrance. Furthermore, the original came in concentration Eau de Parfum. This one comes in concentration Extra de Parfum. Therefore, you have a higher concentration of essential oils in Intense Cedra Bois. Make sure when you apply the fragrance, you apply it on your skin. And if you apply it on your clothes, you do not wear white clothes because it may stain. But when it comes to performance, Intense Cedra Bois performs really, really great. Both in terms of uh, longevity and projection, but also sillage. Also, I had no issues with the original Cedra Bois because I've seen a lot of people complaining about the performance of the original Cedra Bois throughout the years. A lot of people complaining that uh, it's gone in half an hour, in one hour, that it uh, lacks uh, lasting power on your skin and so on and so forth. I had no such issues with the original Cedra Bois. Therefore, because I've seen already people complaining about this one, I also do not have any problems regarding performance with Intense Cedra Bois. When it comes to longevity, when it comes to projection, when it comes to uh, sillage, I'm more than satisfied. Don't get me wrong, it isn't a uh, nuclear type of fragrance. It doesn't feature a monstrous longevity or projection or sillage, but it isn't worst either. When it comes to how and when and where to wear this fragrance, I would say that this is an all-year-round type of fragrance, just like the original Cedrat Bois. But this one you can wear a lot more better when it comes to formal occasions and formal events. When it comes to group age, I would say that everybody can wear this fragrance. Younger crowds, more mature crowds will appreciate this fragrance. It's a well-made fragrance and it attracts a lot of attention and a lot of compliments from the people surrounding you. Therefore, you can wear it casually. I don't know, when you go out with your friends in, uh, in the city, uh, you can wear it semi-formally at uh, your workplace and whatnot. And you can wear it also at a formal event when you dress up and uh, you need something to stand out in the crowd. 
So it works every time, everywhere, and uh, to me, it works in every scenario that I decide to wear it. Compared to the original Cedra Bois, as I said, this one features agarwood, which uh, brings another dimension, brings a more elegant, uh, if you want, uh, feeling to the whole composition. Also, you get the leather and the spices inside, and you also have that beautiful white sandalwood in the heart of the fragrance, accompanied by the musky uh, notes coming from the base, uh, from the white musk and the amber green. Therefore, this is a very elegant type of fragrance. As I said, it feels more robust, it feels more mature compared to the original one. And um, therefore, it is a fragrance that, uh, to me, differs from the original Cetra Bois. And this is why I do not consider Intense Cetra Bois to be a redundant purchase. As always though, I highly encourage you to test the fragrance, to buy a sample, to buy a decant, to wear it a couple of times on your own skin, to see how it performs, to see how it interacts with your own skin's chemistry, and only afterwards go ahead and decide if you want to purchase or not a full bottle. From where I'm standing, this is worth every single penny. There is also the price gap between the two fragrances, mainly because this one has been on the market uh, for some years already, and it might be reformulated, but uh, this one, being newer, it's a bit more expensive. You can find it on uh, Mancella's website. It's uh, 150 euros if you live in uh, Europe. Therefore, it's um, a bit more expensive compared to the older, the original Cedra Bois. Although this fragrance, to me, is a masculine fragrance, it's a very elegant masculine fragrance, I do see it tested and worn by women also. And that is due to the citruses found inside, which uh, combine simply amazing with the, with the accords. Therefore, ladies should try it out also. They may actually enjoy it a lot and um, they might actually end up buying a full bottle for their pleasure. Overall, I would say it's a unisex offering, but um, compared to the original, a more higher quality offering. This is Intense Cedra Bois from the house of Manchera. I highly recommend it. It's a very beautiful scent. It's a very, very nice fragrance. All year round type of fragrance. Therefore, you can wear it in spring, in summer, in fall. And actually, because I've worn it in winter time and I had no issues. I remember going to Prague in the beginning of December, for example, and I had this fragrance with me. And I wore it a couple of times there. And uh, it was very cold in Prague. I think uh, two degrees Celsius during uh, midday. Therefore, um, I wore it in um, very cold weather and it worked simply amazing. Had no issues with the scent, had no issues with the performance of the scent. Therefore, it works also in winter time. If you are interested about uh, how it does in cold weather. I'm going to stop here. This has been my take on uh, Manchera's Intense Cetra Bois. I'm going to see you in the next one. As always, my friends, be safe, be good. Remember, smell good, feel good. Peace.